Hi everyone. Welcome to another mini episode of Winding Away with Corey and Ray. Did you miss us? We're back. <laughs> with all new technology. So bear with us. You can still see us and hear us. We're doing good so far. <laughs> Hopefully. We think you can. <laughs> Hopefully. So right now on this episode, we're going to feature um, a Grenache, right? The Maris Pekinier Skloof Grenache. It's from Citrusdale Mountain in the town of Pekinier Skloof, South Africa. Wow. So it's a South African Grenache, a 2017 um, 100% Grenache, 13.5% alcohol, and it's matured in older oak barrels for up to 10 months. So it'll give you a little bit of teeth, I guess, so it's not really light. Cold soaked for three days, destemmed and crushed, placed in small crates and cooled overnight. Hand picked. Um, and I would think, as most South African wines, it's probably organic. Well, this one says contains sulfites. Wow, so see, you have to read, you have to check. 95% of their wines are organic, but yeah. we finally found one that isn't. So, we have here um, the aromas of ripe cherry and wild strawberry. So you can see it. How much is this approximately per bottle? Uh, seems to range... Uh, from eleven fifty to around thirteen fifty, so it's in that you know under fifteen dollar range, and uh, it says it's also vegan. Wow! So it doesn't appear to be organic, but it's vegan. Well, that's great. So, so it just leapt right over organic, right into veganism <laughs> with some sulfites, because I guess vegans can have sulfites. I don't know. We're learning so much today. Now, what do you get? I do get the strawberry. It's it's a really pretty color. Lighter red, I'm not sure. You could see that, sort of, see? It is uh, much lighter than uh, other Grenaches. Like, you know, in Spain you have Garnacha. Um, there's even Italian versions of Grenache. I mean, gr you find Grenache all over. This might be the first one I've ever had from South Africa. Ah. Uh, and it's a lot lighter than a lot of the Grenaches I've had, but very, very good. Yeah, it reminds me almost of like a Pinot Noir it, it's, or a Beaujolais. It's along those those lines, um, but it's say, very good. I would say it's similar to Pinot Noir, absolutely. Very nice. It's a nice, easy-drinking wine. More, um, more like a French Pinot Noir. Okay. No, we'll it's go, not, it's we'll not, go with that. But I'm saying it's not super fruity like a no, California. No, definitely not. It's a tiny bit on the drier side, but you do get the fruit coming out of it. Like a French. Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably the the oak barrels that it's been aged in that gives it that Frenchiness. <laughs> so what do you think? Cheers, yes, people should no, run out. I mean, How I, hard I, do you think this is to find? Like I said, I've never seen it before. Where did we get this one again? Canopy Wines. Okay. Um, you have the contact from um, the South African, uh, what's his name? Brandon and uh, Ray, the South African Canopy Wine people, big distributors, he dropped off a lot of wines for us to try. And this is one that we never had, that we enjoyed a lot, and that we can probably direct you to or get you. So if you are interested and want to find it and can't find it on Vivino or, you know, Wine Searcher or something like that, send us a message, let us know, and we will help make sure that you get it so you can try it. Like we always do. And always remember... Good wine. Good friends. Great, Great life. life. Pekir in the